a child of God, the Lord will not leave your soul destitute. He will not leave you to be destroyed. He will not leave you all by yourself. He will not leave you and allow the things that the evil ones are planning to succeed. He will be with you. He had promised in Matthew 28 verse 20. He said he will be with you to the ends of the age. He will be with you to the ends of the earth. He will be with you to preserve you. He will be with you to preserve everything that concerns you. He will be with you to preserve everyone that are valuable to you. He will be with you to protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you trust in the Lord, as you trust in his faithfulness, as you trust in his mighty hand, he will not allow the plans of the enemies to succeed. The psalmist was saying Psalms 141 verse 8, But mine eyes are unto thee, O God the Lord. In thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute, dear child of God. The Lord will not leave you and allow danger to come upon you. He will not leave you and see to it that you were destroyed. He will be with you. He will preserve you in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is how he will preserve you. His eyes will be upon you night and day. And he will preserve you in your going out and in your coming in. He said, look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins lord look upon the afflictions of your children you know everything they are going through you know what they may have done that caused them this pain that is causing them this arm that is bringing them to the heaviness of the heart the lord will have mercy he will look upon you and he says he will redeem you in psalms 25 verse 22 he says, Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. I don't know the number of troubles you have found yourself. The Lord will take you out of each and every one of them. Indeed, the scripture have established in Psalm 34 that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but it delivered them from every one of them, every single one, every single one of those many afflictions. He said it will deliver you out of them. And none of them will be traced to you. None of them will be found anywhere around you. He will redeem your soul and he will preserve you. Dear child of God, they are already attacking your marriage. And you know that. They are speaking evil. They are speaking witchcraft. They are speaking wickedness. They are making enchantment to see that everything you were building are crushed and destroyed. But the Lord will not allow it. He knows that these are the intentions of the wicked one. But he says to you, cheer up, dear child of God, because you have overcome already. Because you are more than a conqueror. Because you are more than a victor. Because you are a winner. You will scale through everything they are doing. You will scale through every of the situations of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that they have planned against you, none of them will succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord will turn unto you. He said, Turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Psalm 25, verse 16. Dear child of God, the Lord will turn unto you. He will turn his eyes towards your direction. He will turn his face to you and he will see to it that nothing the enemy is doing will ever succeed. It will keep you with him and it will lead you by the way you should go. It will protect you. It will be merciful unto you and you will enjoy all of his benefit of safety all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said that he will not allow any evil to befall you. Neither will he allow any destruction to come near your dwellings, to come near your tent. Dear child of God, a thousand may have been falling by your side and ten thousand by the other side of your life. But he says it will not come near you because you are preserved, because you are protected. And thereby, dear child of God, you should know that you will not be a prey to the plans of the evil ones. You will not be a casualty to the plans of the enemies. You will not be a casualty to the plans of the wicked one. He says the wicked one, that wicked one touch it him not dear child of god you will never be a prey you will not be touched you will not be affected by all the evils that are going up back and forth 
with all the evils that are happening every day, you will not be touched. You will not be affected in the mighty name of Jesus. All of these troubles, all of these evils may have been enlarged. They may be increasing every day. But the protective arm of God at the same time will be increasing towards you. It will be increasing towards your family. The protective arms of God will be increasing over the things that concerns you and over everything that are connected to you. He says, the troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring down me out of my distresses. Psalms 25 verse 17. Dear child of God, from this day henceforth, you will see the Lord bringing you out. He will bring you out of everything that was supposed to distress your heart. He will bring you out of everything that was supposed to cause you pain. He will bring you out of everything that was supposed to destroy your peace. He will bring you out of everything that was supposed to cut your life short. He said, bring thou me. Bring thou me out of my many distresses. He will bring you out. He will bring you out from those things that are troubling your marriage. He will bring you out from those things that are troubling your finances. Those things that you got involved with. And from that moment on, it seems as if your businesses, your finances, your resources, everything that you own was punctured and now they are draining away. He says it will bring you out. It will bring you out from that wrong investment. Yes, you were deceived. You did not get to read all of the clause in the contract and now it is affecting you. He says it will miraculously bring you out. It will bring you out from everything that had been distressing your soul. It will bring you out from that relationship that plans to destroy you. It will bring you out and it will connect you to the right one that he had ordained for you. Yes, you made a wrong choice. You did not get it right, but now you will get it right. He says it will bring you out. It will bring you into that marriage that will bring you joy and not distress. He said it will bring you out. So it doesn't matter what they are doing to enlarge these troubles. His love will be more than enlarged towards you and towards your family. And you would enjoy all the blessings of God. The blessings of safety, the blessings of preservation, and the blessings of peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From this day henceforth, your joy shall be full and your testimony will increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that has become discomforting to you this very moment, that has brought distress to your heart, that has caused you to become a destitute, it says today it will bring you out. It will bring you out of that horrible pit and it will set your feet upon the rock. It will bring you out from that merry clay and it will position you on your firm foundation. It will position you on your throne in life and you would have every reason to rejoice. You would have every reason to be glad because God have made it so. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. The Lord is assuring you that this word will come to pass in your life. It doesn't matter how much they have been enlarged. The love of God will enlarge much more over you and you would enjoy that peace of God. That peace of God that passes all understanding. That thing that God brings to his children and causes them to live in harmony, you will begin to enjoy it. Your family will have it in full and you would have every reason to rejoice because God has been there for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.